Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back. I'm going to be working in my gratitude journal today. And what I've been doing is I started on these tags. And I, sorry, but I don't like the top. It might be fine. Somebody might love them, but it's just not something I like. So what I decided to do, if I can find my first one here. Um, so I made this, I gave it a tab and I made it myself, which I surprised myself with because I use this and I know not everybody has one but if you do have one and maybe you didn't know about this feature that I'm going to show you so I'm going to do what I did with this one I backed one to another and so I just want to keep in mind that my tab is going to cover some of it. So I'm going to take this one. Oh, these two will work nicely actually. These tags are from making and creating. They have some really beautiful things. Most recently, I've discovered that if there's something I don't like, I'll, I'll actually sit down and if there's an image that I really do like, I will see how can I, how can I make this work? How can I change it? I mean, some things are beyond our control, but at the same time, sometimes there's seemingly simple fixes that you can rework something and make it better for your style, your taste, make it suit your project better. And two, it could just be my lack of imagination. I wasn't really sure how to use these tags the way they were originally, so... I thought instead of trying to figure out what the designer had in mind, I would just make it my own. So, we'll glue these together. Just seeing if it's still filming because I've had times lately where the camera just turns off for any, for some unknown reason. All right, oops. Get that as close as we can. Have a little wiggle room there, not a whole lot. What I used for this was just some cardstock I had, and I think it was actually from this piece of paper here. So I'll start out with just, just a little square, and this one happens to be wide, but if I go by this one. I mean, I want to cover that hole there, but I can do that. And then I can even cut some off yet. So what I'll start with is folding this in half. Now you could make a super easy tag. I mean, that could be a tag right there. 
what am I saying tag tab have I been saying tag this whole time I meant tab sorry about that This day has already come with some challenges, so I'm, I'm fighting through. I'm not going to give up. Okay, tab. You could make that a tab. I would ink the edges, but I don't want to stop there. If you look at this one, I used a decorative edge scissor, and I think I want a different one because I can. Um, something like that. That would be pretty. Okay. Then, if you see where it ends, and yes, I could always drag it up some so that it meets. That would be pretty. Okay. But I want to change these edges. I'm not liking the sharp corners. So what I did, how I got that, is on this one that has the different edgings. Uh, at first I was going to use this one. And you know that might work too. So that's this one. Because that actually almost works like a hole punch would. So then it would sit like so. And there's nothing wrong with that. That would be perfectly fine. I could use a bigger circle punch and get more notched out that way. But what I what I really like is this one. It's this it gave me this effect. It's like a M. But today I think I'm also gonna try this one. And it's interfering because, well, let's just say I got a really unique look because the other punch is still visible, what I did there. So, hmm. let's see if I can get this back. I could just get another piece of paper, but I figured sometimes when you goof around with some of the things you have, you come up with some interesting things. And I don't know if you can see that really well. It's not overly visible, but from playing around with the punches, I actually got a different design in there. So I'm going to leave that because it's uniform and it's different. All right, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to ink this on both sides. It was coffee dyed, but I'm just going to give a little extra there. Yeah, I'm filming this and I'm noticing that I'm not feeling the greatest, so um, <laughs> should be working on my healing journal, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I give thanks to the Lord for he is good. He has made today and I will rejoice and be glad in it. So I'm just going to cut this down a little bit more because it's not quite matchy matchy there. And then too, I will ink that up a little more. I don't think I inked that one yet. Sometimes I like to decorate tags and other times, yeah, this is a tag and I'm putting a tab on this tag. Sometimes I like to decorate tabs and tags and then sometimes not so much. So, okay, 
it's got a really nice dark brown in the on both sides so I think that's gonna look really nice yes if you don't like it you can make it your way I mean make it your way anyways even if you do like this Okay, let's see. Where do I want this? Probably right about there. Just make sure it's straight. Yeah, so nothing totally fancy or elaborate. Probably not a new idea. I'm sure somebody's probably done that already, but I hadn't thought of doing that. So I was very happy to find that I could use that there. Okay, so now I have two tags with tabs. Now the tags are the same size, but the tabs are quite different in size. Okay, so there's that one. Then I tried to make a tag out of this piece that I had left over from my thankful journal and it didn't really work out for me for some reason. I tried to make a fancy thing with embroidery floss there that didn't really work. I put some stickle on it in the end just to add some something something and then that didn't really work because it just kind of spread out and didn't want to play nice so I've made that then I thought why not also make that little part that I had left over from the healing journal this one so I started and I put um, a piece of music paper. Oh, and it got stickle on it. Oops. Let me try. Okay, so I wrecked it. I'll have to see how I can fix that. Anyways, I was thinking I might try this one with, um, embroidery floss. I used to cross stitch a lot but then I started crocheting and then I didn't really do cross stitching anymore. I guess I need a needle. So I was really happy to see people using embroidery floss in their junk journals. Yeah. All right, finally got it threaded. And I'm gonna go through here. Maybe a couple times. Something like that. What I should have done though. There we go. Try to center that a little. Then I'm going to tie a knot. And then I'm going to make a bow. This is what I attempted last time. I need my loop shorter. Embroidery floss is so light. It's hard to work with, I'm finding for myself. 
It keeps undoing what I want to do. You know, I think I'm just gonna grab my hot glue gun. Yes, I know, I could just probably leave it like that, but I wanted some kind of a design up top. So I think what I'm gonna try and do anyways, I'm just going to fold that in there. And then I'm going to hold it together like so. And see if that works, if that gives me anything I like. If not, I can always do something else with it. It's not the prettiest thing I've ever made, but I still like the color, so I'm going to leave that. Um, I like that side better. I just need to cover that. I don't have um, my acrylic paint, not my markers are upstairs and I don't want to get them right now. Plus, I still have some stickle there. Hmm, I know. A tiny little sticker would be right what the doctor called for here, I think. Now I just gotta find my sticker book. <laughs> okay, I found my bunches of botanicals, a blooming sticker book with over 500 stickers. And some of them are really tiny, like the bugs. And more bugs. There's a bow, it's pink. There's a heart, it's pink. I have, oh, they have butterflies. All right, let's see. I think what I want is everything's going to have a white edge. So everything's going to show up anyways. I think this one. And I think it needs some glue. Because I want it to stay on there. Yes, you can see it. Oh well. Maybe I should put on a secondary one. Oh, tiny little birds, too. But I'll think I'll stick with the butterflies because, you know, they're sort of the same size. If I add a bird, I would just confuse. It would confuse me because <laughs> I like to have things about the same size. <laughs> I'm almost going to end this here right away because I just feel like I need to. <laughs> Alright, so then we've made some tags. Yay, we did something. We accomplished something. Alright, now these don't actually have any scripture on them. but they could have but they don't 
I did not make them with scripture on them. So then I still need some pockets. Don't I? Because that's what I do. I put things in pockets. All right, so the gratitude journal. I also still have this and it would fit very nicely on the corner somewhere. Maybe here and then I could still write stuff in the back there. So I need to take off a little bit and I'm just going to put that there. Let's try that on for size. Okay, I'm just going to do a little bit more. And then I'm going to round the corners. Okay. Should I ink that? Maybe a little. Just the edges. I usually just ink the edges, so I don't know why I say that, but anyways. Glue on the ends. Quite a bit of glue so that it doesn't pop off. All right. And there it shall live. Okay, so this one is for the healing journal. I'm going to put that aside. Then I'm going to put this one here. This one I'm also going to save for the healing journal so that I'm not duplicating too much. All right, so that's just going to hold that spot. And this tag... go here but I don't really like how that looks what else have I got I have this pocket for now I can tuck that in there all right Thanksgiving It's verse time. I know. We should have started with this, maybe. I'm going to start with this one. I can't believe I forgot that again. I forgot the reference. I think I'm getting good at this, though. Psalm 28. Maybe verse 7. I'm not 100% sure. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and I am helped. Therefore my heart exalts and with my song I shall thank him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your goodness. First Chronicle 16 verse 8. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Psalm 92, verse 1. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High. Amen. All right, so this was something that I tore and I considered not using it. And then I thought, of course I'm going to use it because it has this really pretty picture on the bottom. So, 
God uses us when we're not perfect, so why can't we use things that aren't perfect? So yeah, I'm changing it up a little bit today, I guess, but that's okay. I'm just going to look up that verse if it is where I thought it was. Can't look on my phone because I'm recording with it. Yeah, it's still recording. That's good. Psalm 28. Yay, I was right. <laughs> Psalm 28, verse 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I was helped. Therefore, my heart rejoices, and with my song, I will thank him. So, different words, but same verse. And that way you got to hear it twice. As did I. So, all things work together for good. To those who love God... And are called according to his purpose. Very important. Don't forget that part. All right. That's what I have for you today. And uh, I hope. I hope you're blessed. He's the one that does the blessing. If he chooses to use me, I'm glad. If he blesses you in other ways, that's even better. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks for watching and have a great day, a great rest of the day. And maybe we'll see you next time. Bye for now.